well. I hope you've had a good week. I had this brilliant idea that I would do today's um, vlog starting from underneath this gorgeous blossom tree. Um, have a look. But it's a really bad idea because it's pouring with rain, it's really windy, it probably sounds terrible. So just bear with me and I'll get back to the boat. stop raining but I'm not gonna go back let's go out on the bow deck so here I am on the bow deck just really hoping that I don't get soaking wet again just got back from the walk and uh, actually it's quite um, oh, I hope you're well by the way I'm not sure if I said that but I hope you're well um, it's quite apt because this week most of the things that I have included in my vlog have taken place just in this sort of space and if you listen really carefully, there you go. Any more? No, it's not. Oh, there you go. Um, uh, you will know that uh, you probably couldn't hear that because they've been very quiet at the moment, but they haven't been quiet all week. That um, I am moored right near a rookery. And a rookery is the nesting home of many rooks. So the word rookery is a colloquial English term in the 18th and 19th century given to city slums occupied by the poor and criminals. Yet we know the name as the nesting site of beautiful rooks. Superstition says if the nests are built high up, then you will have a summer full of fair and good weather. Yet if the nests are built low down in a rookery, you're going to have an awful summer. Now um, I'm in the bow deck. Oh, this is why I love filming out here because we're about to get some swan action. If I just move the the camera ever so carefully onto the water, there. Look. Hello. I'll bring your food in a minute. Um, oops, I've got some special swan food, which I'll talk about in, in a minute. Um, so, what was that? Yeah, the Bowdeck Garden, because loads of things are coming through. Um, you've got the daffodil, and roses, and it's just starting to take shape. And also, I've got a little bee hotel, and I'm really waiting for a solitary bee. And actually, I've been looking around the uh, towpath and I've noticed lots of wild flowers springing up. I think I need to put back, I need to give back to the canal system. It gives to me absolutely every single day. So what I am going to do is every day, <laughs> what is this one? Yeah, I am going to feed you in a minute, I promise. Every um, place that I stop at, I am going to plant some wildflowers, native wildflowers, so I can feed the pollinators, feed the bees and the butterflies. Um, and so see how that went this week.
<laughs> I am going to feed you, I absolutely promise. I'm going to feed them in a minute. Now, also, what I was hoping would swim past, but it's just further up. I've just passed it on the walk and you would have seen it on the walk down to the back boat. Um, I have discovered for the second time on my canal journeys, a red-faced muscovy duck. Now, the other red-faced muscovy duck looked very different, was much bigger, I think it was a male, and I spotted that way back in the summer of last year, and that was on the um, Stratford Canal, which is just a gorgeous canal. And I know that Narrowboat Will also spotted the same red-faced muscovy duck and included it in one of his vlogs. And, oh, it's getting really windy, the boat's moving about. Um, uh, but I found out a lot about these red-faced muscovy ducks. So the red on their face, the red bumpy um, skin, is called caruncle. And what that does is it secretes an oil, which is why it looks like it does. But that oil is really special because the red-faced muscovy duck uses it to spread over all of its feathers to keep those feathers waterproof. starting to rain so I may need to go inside in a second. It's time to sit back and relax and enjoy a mindful cruise and it's the journey back that we did when we went to um, pump out our toilet two weeks ago now but I stopped off at the um, supermarket at Leighton Buzzard. It's brilliant you can moor just outside and then you can go and pick up all that you need as much as possible and your boat is just there. Full use of that and that's when I bought the fantastic swan and duck food that they're now selling in Tesco's for £1.25 a box which is why I now have regularly the swans and ducks knocking at the narrowboat door they're not actually knocking at the door knocking at the gunnels I think they're knocking at the gunnels and the hull of the boat so I hope you can enjoy it. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Um, look after yourself, take care. And next week we are going on a little journey because we are going to have extra solar panels fitted. Oh, <laughs> please come and join me next week. Right, I've got to feed these ones now. <laughs> Bye.
I tried to plant some flowers by the towpath side and whilst it took no hours, time did somewhat subside as Zeph was so persistent and I distracted too by the duck who kept quite distant yet near enough to view the spectacle before it of Zeph and I with spade its red face glowed more for it, enjoying the charade. Its caruncles full of oil sparkled in the light as it watched me at my toil, gardening not quite right. And there as seeds were sown in a rather upturned bed, like the muscovy I'd grown, a face of ruby red.